So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of bubble text animation with using Cinema 4D. See guys, that's really cool bubble effect. So now guys, I show you second letter like this. Guys, see that's my M letter and third one. And guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my spare and convert to bubbles. Okay, so guys, it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So guys, go to one perspective view. See, that's my text and height. So guys, go to back and play. Yeah. Okay, so guys, now I teach you how I create this type of beautiful bubble effect. It's really simple. So guys, stop and I create new project. That's my new project. So firstly, guys, I'm going to take a text one. That's my text and type your letter like this S letter. And guys, font, font I change. Guys, I use bold and thick font like this, Arial Black. Yeah, and alignment middle. Okay, so now, guys, I change that. So that I like 40. Yes. And yeah, good. Okay, so guys, go to one front view panel. And guys, this time I use pair, this one. Yes, and guys, I change spare type. Use this one, hexadron, yeah. And also segments change. Guys, I create low poly, so use 10. And radius change manually. Yes, and guys, closer, up. And go to on here. Guys, more change, like this. Yes, and duplicate. Go to on here, and guys, smaller. Like this, yes, and duplicate. Go to on here, guys. Change spare, yes. See, guys, I create randomly spare, so go duplicate and little bit increase, yes. And guys, more like this, and guys, increase size, yes, much better, right? See, guys, that's my spare, okay. So, guys, select. All and duplicate. Press Ctrl C and V. So go to an up and rotate. Rotate like this. Yes. And now, guys, arrange manually. So guys, select this one and go to an up. Guys, I change also radius. And guys, select this one. Yes. Okay. So guys, go to on here and guys, select this one. And change radius. Yes, good. Right, see guys, that's my spare. Okay, so guys, select this one and duplicate. Guys, I change spare radius. Yeah, and one more time. Yes, right, and change radius like this. Guys, go to on up. Yeah. Okay, see guys, that's my spear and guys select the smaller one. Go to on here. Yes, and also change size. Yeah, and one more time, duplicate here. So guys select this one. Yes, guys all spear into the text. And then now, guys lastly, select. Guys, depending on your work, you can increase more spare. Is depending on your work, yes. And guys, here, yes. Really cool. Okay, so guys, go to on here. That's our perspective view. And that's not correct. So guys, go to on right view panel. And guys, select your text. Go to on mate. Yes, right. See guys, that's my all spare into the text and height yeah and now guys this time i apply collision tag and soft body tag so guys select your text and right click simulation tag and use collider body yeah so go to one collision and guys shape static mesh and bounce i like 10 enter yes okay so guys select this time guys i use null object and select all spare and make child be null. Yeah. Guys, select all spares and right click. This time, soft body tag. This one. Yes. Okay. So, guys, go to on collision and shape. 
guys i use moving mesh and guys go to on soft body yes so go to on off see guys stats my all setting so now guys go to on rest length this one rest length i like 160 enter and stiffness i like one and see guys that's my pressure pressure i like 200 enter and see guys that's my dumping last dumping i like 10,000. One and four times zero enter yes that's it guys see that's my simple soft body setting and now guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my soft body effect so stop and one more time yes good okay so next one guys i apply smoothness so smoothness only use subdivision surface and select your null object and make child with subdivision surface yes and guys again go to back and play yes it's good okay so now guys i change this setting see guys that's my so much spacing on collision right it's not correct so guys decrease your spacing so now guys go to on mode and project and go to on dynamic guys see that's my expert and collision margin i like 0 0.1 enter yes and guys go to back and again play yes see guys that's my really cool soft word effect right it's really good okay so now guys you can also change gravity so go to on same dynamic and general gravity i like zero enter yes okay so guys go to back and play yes it's good right see guys that's my bubble effect okay so stop guys you can also change this smaller spare size so go to on front view panel and subdivision surface uncheck guys go to on text and text check so guys select this one and change radius so go to on up guys select this one and increase size radius increase like this and guys select this one like a 14 is good and guys more so guys select this one and scale size radius change select this one increase so guys arrange manually yes much better and lastly guys select this one and increase so guys select and manually change position yes and lastly guys select this one and yeah good increase size yes see guys that's my simple spares okay so now guys uh, one more time go to back and play yeah much better see guys that's really cool and go to back and play yes and now guys subdivision surface check and text hide and hide on render and one more time go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple bubble effect it's really good and guys frame i like 200 frame is good and lastly guys i apply turbulence effect for shaking so guys go to and simulate force and use turbulence this one yeah and guys strength i like 250 actually 200 is good for me 200 and scale size 75 enter and guys go to back and play yes okay so next one guys i apply this time all is good okay so now guys select your text and this one subdivision surface change like this yes okay so all is good and subdivision surface check and lastly guys select your all soft body tech i select only soft body tech and go to catch a and bake object check guys i create baking dynamic simulation guys take little bit time 
Okay, see guys, my baking is finished now. Go to display, select lines, and wireframe check. Yes, it's really good. See guys, that's my really cool bubble. And second one, shaking effect. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished as of my work. So go to one here and go to back and play. Yes, that's really cool. And guys, that's my tutorial part. Okay, so now guys, go to back. And I take camera and camera check. I set your camera angle like this. So guys, go to back and play. Yes. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So if you like my video, please share. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.